Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and today I thought, you know what, let's bring a little bit of crafting back to our channel. So today we're going to make a DIY Disney-inspired wreath. Cannot wait. I love Disney. And anytime I get an opportunity to do some crafting, I am all about it. And if I can incorporate the whole family, even better. So we bought that ring to be able to put the wreath on, and those ornaments actually came from the Dollar Tree. So what, $5 right there, and we won't be using all of them, but we'll use quite a few. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and make some Mickey ornaments. Really easy to do. Basically, you put the hot glue gun in, wait till it melts a little bit, glue it up, put one of the smaller ornament bulbs in there, and you can see they hold perfectly. So we're going to make a couple of Mickeys just like that. They're so cute and so sparkly. And then what we're going to do is we bought some green, it was basically just greenage, that we're going to go ahead and string on the wreath. Now I'm going to be really honest, uh, the wreath itself, the holder, we got that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and the green we bought at Walmart. But I'm going to be really honest, we went to Hobby Lobby and there was already green strung on one of these and it was perfect. So it might cost maybe a couple of dollars more, but I think go get the one that's already strung on because less work for you to have to do, especially if you're doing this with the kids. But again, stringing this on ourselves wasn't a big deal. It was really easy to do, um, but you can see we cut it so we could get the right size that we needed. The biggest thing to remember is just make sure that you wrap those extra branches around it so that they're really tight. Now for us, we're going to use a hot glue gun. We are going to add some Mickeys onto this wreath, and I think this is going to be so perfect. I cannot wait. I like things that are subtle Disney, but still Disney. Uh, be sure to use a lot of hot glue, especially with this, because it will fall out. Um, the first one we did, it fell right out. So give it some time, let it adhere to it, and take your time, right? It's not a race. One of the things that I really love about the Dollar Tree ornaments is that they come in different textures. So play around with that because originally I thought, oh, I want to use all smooth ones. And as I started to put these together, it kind of reminded me of Epcot. And they look really cool in person when you see them all put together. The biggest thing I'll say is don't forget, take your time. Pick your color scheme. You know, we kind of placed them around where we wanted them, so we had an idea before we started. You know, maybe do a layout sample or a test run before you glue them on. Make sure that you love it. 
I don't know. I think the colors, we have a lot of red and gold in our Christmas scheme. And I really love this. And we do a lot of white lights, too. We decided that ours needed just a couple extra ornaments around the Disney ones just to kind of spice it up. Now, if you took a picture like at the Wilderness Lodge of some of their wreaths, a lot of times they add like animals like a deer or uh, a pine cone or a squirrel. You know, you could consider doing that as well to make it feel a little bit more like, for example, the Wilderness Lodge. The other thing I would highly encourage that you do before you're done is just make sure you go through and find all those little glue strings, like glue spider webs. Um, when we were done, there were more than we thought they were, or more that showed up in the video. So just get those out of there and clean it up. It's kind of like if you sew, you know, you got to trim all of your threads. Now again, what I love about this, this cost us less than $10 to make. All of the items are at the um, Dollar Tree. so. This could be a really fun way to bring some Disney into your house without spending a lot of money. Um, one of the things I would suggest though, is if you are thinking about it, you could start with the plain wreath and you could embellish with things that remind you of the Polynesian, the Riviera. You know, maybe next time you go to Disney, buy an ornament or two from that hotel that you could incorporate into that wreath. Like that would be so cool. I actually might have to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final wreath up on the wall. And again, this is all within about a 20 minute time frame, start to finish. So pretty. Again, you can add more embellishments if you like, less, completely whatever you like. So again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner and artist for Jessica Lynn Original Studios. We do a lot of card making crafts. We do a behind the card series and so much more. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget to comment down below. Happy holidays, happy crafting.